Neurodegeneration, Wikipedia article audio. Neurodegeneration is the progressive loss of structure or function of neurons, including death of neurons. Many neurodegenerative diseases including amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and Huntington's occur as a result of neurodegenerative processes. Such diseases are incurable, resulting in progressive degeneration and slash or death of neuron cells. As research progresses, many similarities appear that relate these diseases to one another on a subcellular level. Discovering these similarities offers hope for therapeutic advances that could ameliorate many diseases simultaneously. There are many parallels between different neurodegenerative disorders including atypical protein assemblies as well as induced cell death. Neurodegeneration can be found in many different levels of neuronal circuitry ranging from molecular to systemic. Mechanisms Genetics Protein misfolding Intracellular mechanisms Protein degradation pathways Membrane damage Mitochondrial dysfunction Axonal transport Programmed cell death Apoptosis Autophagic Cytoplasmic PCD Transglutaminase Specific disorders Alzheimer's disease Parkinson's disease Huntington's disease Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis Batten disease Aging Therapeutics Many neurodegenerative diseases are caused by genetic mutations, most of which are located in completely unrelated genes. In many of the different diseases, the mutated gene has a common feature, a repeat of the CAG nucleotide triplet. CAG encodes for the amino acid glutamine. A repeat of CAG results in a polyglutamine tract. Diseases showing this are known as polyglutamine diseases. Several neurodegenerative diseases are classified as proteopathies as they are associated with the aggregation of misfolded proteins. Parkinson's disease and Huntington's disease are both late onset and associated with the accumulation of intracellular toxic proteins. Diseases caused by the aggregation of proteins are known as proteinopathies, and they are primarily caused by aggregates in the following structures. There are two main avenues eukaryotic cells use to remove troublesome proteins or organelles. Damage to the membranes of organelles by monomeric or oligomeric proteins could also contribute to these diseases. Alpha-synuclein can damage membranes by inducing membrane curvature, and cause extensive tubulation and vesiculation when incubated with artificial phospholipid vesicles. The tubes formed from these lipid vesicles consist of both micellar as well as bilayer tubes. Extensive induction of membrane curvature is deleterious to the cell and would eventually lead to cell death. Apart from tubular structures, alpha-synuclein can also form lipoprotein nanoparticles similar to apolipa proteins. The most common form of cell death in neurodegeneration is through the intrinsic mitochondrial apoptotic pathway. This pathway controls the activation of caspas 9 by regulating the release of cytochrome C from the mitochondrial intermembrane space. Reactive oxygen species are normal byproducts of mitochondrial respiratory chain activity. ROS concentration is mediated by mitochondrial antioxidants such as manganese superoxide dismutase and glutathione peroxidase. Overproduction of ROS is a central feature of all neurodegenerative disorders. In addition to the generation of ROS, 
mitochondria are also involved with life-sustaining functions including calcium homeostasis, PCD, mitochondrial fission, and fusion, lipid concentration of the mitochondrial membranes, and the mitochondrial permeability transition. Mitochondrial disease leading to neurodegeneration is likely, at least on some level, to involve all of these functions. There is strong evidence that mitochondrial dysfunction and oxidative stress play a causal role in neurodegenerative disease pathogenesis, including in four of the more well-known diseases Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Huntington's, and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Axonal swelling and spheroids have been observed in many different neurodegenerative diseases. This suggests that defective axons are not only present in diseased neurons, but also that they may cause certain pathological insult due to accumulation of organelles. Axonal transport can be disrupted by a variety of mechanisms including damage to, kinesin and cytoplasmic dynion, microtubules, cargos, and mitochondria. When axonal transport is severely disrupted a degenerative pathway known as Wallerian-like degeneration is often triggered. Programmed cell death is death of a cell in any form, mediated by an intracellular program. This process can be activated in neurodegenerative diseases including Parkinson's disease, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, and Huntington's disease. There are, however, situations in which these mediated pathways are artificially stimulated due to injury or disease. Apoptosis is a form of programmed cell death in multicellular organisms. It is one of the main types of programmed cell death and involves a series of biochemical events leading to a characteristic cell morphology and death. CASP as is cleave at very specific amino acid residues. There are two types of CASP as is, initiators and effectors. Initiator CASP as is cleave and active forms of effector CASP as is. This activates the effectors that in turn cleave other proteins resulting in apoptotic initiation. Autophagy is essentially a form of intracellular phagocytosis in which a cell actively consumes damaged organelles or misfolded proteins by encapsulating them into an autophagosome, which fuses with a lysosome to destroy the contents of the autophagosome. Many neurodegenerative diseases show unusual protein aggregates. This could potentially be a result of underlying autophagic defect common to multiple neurodegenerative diseases. It is important to note that this is a hypothesis, and more research must be done. The final and least understood PCD mechanism is through non-apoptotic processes. These fall under type 3, or cytoplasmic cell death. Many other forms of PCD are observed but not fully understood or accepted by the scientific community. For example, PCD might be caused by trophotoxicity, or hyperactivation of trophic factor receptors. In addition to this, other cytotoxins that induce PCD at low concentrations act to cause necrosis or aponecrosis the combination of apoptosis and necrosis, when in higher concentrations. It is still unclear exactly what combination of apoptosis, non-apoptosis, and necrosis causes different kinds of aponecrosis. In the above-mentioned neurodegenerative diseases, PCD may be pathogenic. In order to identify the potential of neuroprotective targets in PCD machinery, there were experimental models conducted on these neurodegenerative diseases. These studies showed that the expression of certain components have been altered by genetic and pharmacological means. Expression of PCD molecular components are said to be controlled by gene and antisense therapy, but this needs further research. 
Pharmacological approaches involve inhibitors of caspus activity, and caspus inhibition might delay cell death in the different experimental models. Transglutaminases are human enzymes ubiquitously present in the human body and in the brain in particular. The main function of transglutaminases is bind proteins and peptides intra- and intermolecularly, by a type of covalent bonds termed isopeptide bonds, in a reaction termed transamidation or cross-linking. Transglutaminase binding of these proteins and peptides make them clump together. The resulting structures are turned extremely resistant to chemical and mechanical disruption. Most relevant human neurodegenerative diseases share the property of having abnormal structures made up of proteins and peptides. Each of these neurodegenerative diseases have one specific main protein or peptide. In Alzheimer's disease, these are amyloid beta and tau. In Parkinson's disease, it is alpha-synuclein. In Huntington's disease, it is Huntington. Transglutaminase substrates, amyloid beta, tau, alpha-synuclein, and Huntington have been proved to be substrates of transglutaminases in vitro or in vivo, that is, they can be bonded by transglutaminases by covalent bonds to each other and potentially to any other transglutaminase substrate in the brain. Transglutaminase Augmented Expression it has been proved that in these neurodegenerative diseases the expression of the transglutaminase enzyme is increased. Presence of isopeptide bonds in these structures, the presence of isopeptide bonds have been detected in the abnormal structures that are characteristic of these neurodegenerative diseases. CO localization CO localization of transglutaminase mediated isopeptide bonds with these abnormal structures has been detected in the autopsy of brains of patients with these diseases. Alzheimer's disease is characterized by loss of neurons and synapses in the cerebral cortex and certain subcortical regions. This loss results in gross atrophy of the affected regions including degeneration in the temporal lobe and parietal lobe, and parts of the frontal cortex and cingulate gyrus. Alzheimer's disease has been hypothesized to be a protein misfolding disease, caused by accumulation of abnormally folded A-beta and tau proteins in the brain. Plagues are made up of small peptides, 3943 amino acids in length, called beta amyloid. Beta amyloid is a fragment from a larger protein called amyloid precursor protein, a transmembrane protein that penetrates through the neuron's membrane. AP is critical to neuron growth, survival, and post-injury repair. In Alzheimer's disease, an unknown process causes AP to be divided into smaller fragments by enzymes through proteolysis. One of these fragments gives rise to fibrils of beta amyloid, which form clumps that deposit outside neurons in dense formations known as senile plagues. Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disorder and manifests as bradykinesia, rigidity, resting tremor, and posture instability. The crude prevalence rate of PD has been reported to range from 15 per 100,000 to 12,500 per 100,000, and the incidence of PD from 15 per 100,000 to 328 per 100,000, with the disease being less common in Asian countries. Parkinson's disease is a degenerative disorder of the central nervous system. It results from the death of dopamine-generating cells in the substantia nigra, a region of the midbrain, the cause of cell death is unknown. The following paragraph is an excerpt from the pathophysiology section of the article Parkinson's disease. The mechanism by which the brain cells in Parkinson's are lost may consist of an abnormal accumulation of the protein alpha-synuclein bound to ubiquitin in the damaged cells. 
the alpha synuclein ubiquitin complex cannot be directed to the proteasum. This protein accumulation forms proteinaceous cytoplasmic inclusions called Lewy bodies. The latest research on pathogenesis of disease has shown that the death of dopaminergic neurons by alpha synuclein is due to a defect in the machinery that transports proteins between two major cellular organelles the endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi apparatus. Certain proteins like RAB1 may reverse this defect caused by alpha synuclein in animal models. Recent research suggests that impaired axonal transport of alpha synuclein leads to its accumulation in the Lewy bodies. Experiments have revealed reduced transport rates of both wild type and two familial Parkinson's disease associated mutant alpha synuclein through axons of cultured neurons. Membrane damage by alpha synuclein could be another Parkinson's disease mechanism. The main known risk factor is age. Susceptibility genes including alpha synuclein, leucine rich repeat kinase 2, and glucocerebrosidase have shown that genetic predisposition is another important causal factor. Polyglutamine, a repeat in this causes dominant pathogenesis. Extraglutamine residues can acquire toxic properties through a variety of ways, including irregular protein folding and degradation pathways, altered subcellular localization, and abnormal interactions with other cellular proteins. PolyQ studies often use a variety of animal models because there is such a clearly defined trigger repeat expansion. Extensive research has been done using the models of nematode, and fruit fly, mice, and non-human primates. Mammalian data is often needed for FDA approval of drugs, which means that the bulk of the research is done using mice. Using data from the other animals is often a precursor to finding the equivalent mammalian gene. Nine inherited neurodegenerative diseases are caused by the expansion of the CAG trinucleotide and poly-Q tract. Two examples are Huntington's disease and the spinocerebellar ataxias. For a complete list, see the table under polyglutamine diseases in the article Trinucleotide Repeat Disorder. While polyglutamine repeat diseases encompass many different neurodegenerative disorders, there are many more it does not apply to. The genetics behind each disease are different and often unknown. Alpha synuclein can aggregate to form insoluble fibrils in pathological conditions characterized by Lewy bodies, such as Parkinson's disease, dementia with Lewy bodies, and multiple system atrophy. Alpha synuclein is the primary structural component of Lewy body fibrils. In addition, an alpha synuclein fragment, known as the non-A beta component, is found in amyloid plagues in Alzheimer's disease. Tau, hyperphosphorylated tau protein is the main component of neurofibrillary tangles in Alzheimer's disease. Beta amyloid the major component of senile plagues in Alzheimer's disease, prion, main component of prion diseases and transmissible spongiform encephalopathies. Cytosol, e.g. Parkinson's and Huntington's, nucleus, e.g. spinocerebellar ataxia type 1, endoplasmic reticulum, extracellularly excreted proteins, Amyloid beta in Alzheimer's disease. Ubiquitin proteasum, protein ubiquitin along with enzymes is key for the degradation of many proteins that cause proteinopathies including poly-Q expansions and alpha synuclein. Research indicates proteasum enzymes may not be able to correctly cleave these irregular proteins, which could possibly result in a more toxic species. This is the primary root cells used to degrade proteins. Decreased proteasome activity is consistent with models in which intracellular protein aggregates form. 
it is still unknown whether or not these aggregates are a cause or a result of neurodegeneration. Extrinsic apoptotic pathways occur when factors outside the cell activate cell surface death receptors that result in the activation of CASP as is minus 8 or dash 10. Intrinsic apoptotic pathways result from mitochondrial release of cytochrome C or endoplasmic reticulum malfunctions, each leading to the activation of Caspus 9. The nucleus and Golgi apparatus are other organelles that have damage sensors, which can lead the cells down apoptotic pathways. The following paragraph is an excerpt from the mechanism section of the article Huntington's Disease. HD causes astrogliosis and loss of medium spiny neurons. Areas of the brain are affected according to their structure and the types of neurons they contain, reducing in size as they cumulatively lose cells. The areas affected are mainly in the striatum, but also the frontal and temporal cortices. The striatum's subthalamic nuclei send control signals to the globus pallidus which initiates and modulates motion. The weaker signals from subthalamic nuclei thus cause reduced initiation and modulation of movement, resulting in the characteristic movements of the disorder, notably chorea. Mutant Huntington is an aggregate-prone protein. During the cell's natural clearance process, these proteins are retrogradely transported to the cell body for destruction by lysosomes. It is a possibility that these mutant protein aggregates damage the retrograde transport of important cargoes such as BDNF by damaging molecular motors as well as microtubules. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis is a disease in which motor neurons are selectively targeted for degeneration. In 1993, Mesense mutations in the gene encoding the antioxidant enzyme CU-ZN superoxide dismutase 1 were discovered in subsets of patients with familial ALS. This discovery led researchers to focus on unlocking the mechanisms for SOD1-mediated diseases. However, the pathogenic mechanism underlying SOD1 mutant toxicity has yet to be resolved. More recently, TDP43 and FUS protein aggregates have been implicated in some cases of the disease, and a mutation in chromosome 9 is thought to be the most common known cause of sporadic ALS. Recent independent research by Nagai ETAL and Di Giorgio ETAL provide in vitro evidence that the primary cellular sites where SOD1 mutations act are located on astrocytes. Astrocytes then cause the toxic effects on the motor neurons. The specific mechanism of toxicity still needs to be investigated but the findings are significant because they implicate cells other than neuron cells in neurodegeneration. Batten disease is a rare and fatal recessive neurodegenerative disorder that begins at birth. The greatest risk factor for neurodegenerative diseases is aging. Mitochondrial DNA mutations as well as oxidative stress both contribute to aging. Many of these diseases are late onset meaning there is some factor that changes as a person ages for each disease. One constant factor is that in each disease, neurons gradually lose function as the disease progresses with age. The process of neurodegeneration is not well understood, so the diseases that stem from it have, as yet, no cures. In the search for effective treatments, Investigators employ animal models of disease to test potential therapeutic agents. Model organisms provide an inexpensive and relatively quick means to perform two main functions, target identification and target validation. Together, these help show the value of any specific therapeutic strategies and drugs when attempting to ameliorate disease severity. An example is the drug Dimbin. 
This drug is in phase 3 clinical trials for use in Alzheimer's disease, and also recently finished phase 2 clinical trials for use in Huntington's disease. In March 2010, the results of a clinical trial phase 3 were released. The investigational Alzheimer's disease drug Dimbin failed in the pivotal connection trial of patients with mild to moderate disease. With concert, the remaining Pfizer and Medivation Phase 3 trial for Dimbin in Alzheimer's disease failed in 2012, effectively ending the development in this indication. In another experiment using a rat model of Alzheimer's disease, it was demonstrated that systemic administration of hypothalamic proline-rich peptide-1 offers neuroprotective effects and can prevent neurodegeneration in hippocampus amyloid beta 2535. This suggests that there could be therapeutic value to PRP1. Protein degradation offers therapeutic options both in preventing the synthesis and degradation of irregular proteins. There is also interest in upregulating autophagy to help clear protein aggregates implicated in neurodegeneration. Both of these options involve very complex pathways that we are only beginning to understand. The goal of immunotherapy is to enhance aspects of the immune system. Both active and passive vaccinations have been proposed for Alzheimer's disease and other conditions. However more research must be done to prove safety and efficacy in humans.